How's it going, Jared and Odella? Thanks a lot for giving us a ride, eh? Oh, that's oh, yeah. fine. Yeah. You pick up a lot of hitches, eh? Yeah. yeah. I tend to pull over all the time for like if I see a hitch I can I gotta empty seat and Cool. Even, like yeah. You know, it's always great to lend a hand, you know. Yeah. This one they can't all turn around and have something in store for us. And it's good to have talks. Yeah, I like, I like a good brave, eh? Yeah, that's half the reason why. I mean, it's convenient as well, but it's... You meet characters, eh? I've met all sorts of characters, don't I? Yeah. So, yeah, I was, I was talking to you about your, um, some of your rallies up in um, Kai Tire. Yeah. And you got somebody in politics up there. Yeah. Yeah, how's, how's he going? Um, oh, fuck. He's um, changing... Oh, he's putting the Māori Party to make his own party because he knows what he's up to. There's other guys don't. He speaks his mind, doesn't he? Yeah, pretty much. And of course, the listeners can have uh, a fair idea on who we're talking about here because there's only about one politician in the country <laughs> that really speaks his mind. Oh, really? Yes. That's the infamous Horni Harawera. And I'll tell the truth. Yeah. And, he, and he's uh, like an uncle or something, is he? Or? Yeah, he's, um, he's actually my grandmother's, I think it's her nephew. Oh, yeah? Or her cousin. Do you so get to yeah, meet him much? Yeah, I've seen him all. All my life I grew up around him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's hard up. He's cool. He's a straight up sort of dude, isn't he? Because he, he doesn't smoke or drink or anything, does he? Uh, not really. Yeah. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen him with a beer in his hand. Yeah. But uh, I've seen him with a motorbike in his hand. Okay. <laughs> cool. And uh, what, do you, what do you think about it? How do you think he's going to go? I reckon he's making the right choice, though. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'd join his party any day, you know. Gonna, he's got to stand up for us. Yeah, yeah. Because well, we don't all get a get a chance to stand up in front of New Zealand and tell them what we think. Yep. So we got to have someone that can and good enough for our standards to stand up for us. Yeah, I think he was saying the other day on um, Maori TV that uh, he felt that um, Osama bin Laden was a bit of a brother. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a brother. Yeah. Because he stand up against everything. Stand up against those um, imperialists. And what about um, what do you what, what what political sort of points would you take if you were involved with a party? What do you, what do you feel the country needs a bit of tuning up on? I reckon they should cut the driving age back down because 16 is like a year longer than 50, so they're making us wait that long and like. Yeah, everyone shouldn't drink and drive, I understand, but like, um, I think that they should legalise cannabis, yep. because a lot of people do it, yep. and it's pretty much under the radar legal already, Yeah, yeah. because so many people use the yep. drug and, yeah, have it as a part of their life, and they're fine, you know? There's yeah. so many of them and it's not traceable. Yeah. You know, maybe they'll get a hit and find the house, a cellar or something, but they won't they'll never be able to stop everybody from smoking. Yeah. And because you know, like they, they say that um, it, there's some people that it, uh, the main arguments from what I can pick up is that they say that there's some people who it, um, who are very susceptible to um, having really bad experiences. Uh, schizophrenics apparently can be really triggered by marijuana but on the other hand it's also a very damaging experience to be arrested by the police and be branded a criminal exactly. just uh, taking yeah. a fairly kind of low-key drug and, so. it's, it's natural you know yeah. if you know God yeah I speak about God if God didn't you know if it wasn't here God wouldn't have made it you know it wouldn't be around it's just natural herb yeah. like what's the saying if weed is a plant that grows in the ground, if God didn't want it, it wouldn't be around. That's <laughs> the one. Have you ever had a bit of a quarter with old Homie about this? <laughs> oh, he... I think he knows that a lot of people do it. Yeah. And he, he's... Well, of course people... He won't judge you on your decisions, I think. Yeah. Like, you make. minor decisions like picking up a joint and having a puff. Yeah. I don't think he'll judge you on that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, he seems to keep his um, sights focused on where they're supposed to be, eh? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. That's a good thing. And what about you, uh, Della, was it? 
Yeah. <laughs> what sort of things would you do if you were in Parliament? Ooh. We'll just give us your general philosophy <laughs> on life or whatever you want to say. Nobody sees it. <laughs> um, egg first. That's who we work for. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> egg That's first. Um, that car that you've got on your camera. Yeah. With the egg first on. Oh, for the egg party. Egg first. Egg yeah, first. Um, we are. Oh, is that your job or your employer? Yeah, it's kiwi fruit testing. Oh, I got you. Okay. That's what we do. All right. Okay. Cool. You do that in uh, Kaitoa or? Uh, in Kerika. Oh, okay. Kati Kati. Okay. That's right, yeah, because I grow tons of that stuff down there. I had a friend, a school friend that used to do it out at uh, Pahoya, I think he had a um, location oh, okay. out there at the top of the hills. So what else you got to, what, do you, what, do you, what else do you think we need to do with this country, uh, Modella? Stop making roads. And yeah, Just man, stop, stop changing, you know, all the stuff that's happening in New Zealand, you know, that's Mother Nature telling us that. We haven't been looking after her, so she wants to start again, you know. Yeah, yeah. The tornadoes, the floods, you know. Start again. Earthquakes. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Tell because them to stop making roads. Yeah, yeah. And they're always expanding yeah. them, and they seem to have no end yeah, of making bloody them cars wider, still and putting water. three lanes. Yeah, yeah. Instead of one. Addicted to cars, aren't they? Just stop shipping in Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a joke. It was interesting when I was uh, reading the Herald, there was one little line in there that really took you know, interest in it. It said, uh, the tornado appeared to start right next to the Westfield Mall. That's where it appeared to start, right in the epicenter of capitalism, eh? And, and when I was looking at it, they hit, it hit Bond and Bond, in that electric store, and you know it just routed it, eh? It just took the roof off, it where was smashed that? the walls. This is in Albany. Albany? Yeah. yeah. There was a tornado come through there a couple of days ago. Yeah, two Big people one. died. Yeah, yeah, it seemed to really uh, turn a few shots, and ripping trees off, of, ripping trees off, cutting them in half in the trunks and stuff. But you know, just a very interesting line. I don't know where they got it from, but it just said it seemed to start. It appeared to start at the Albany Mall, at the Westfield Mall. So, oh, yeah. and that's kind of like the, you know, these the epicenter of Western capitalism, eh? Yeah. And it was like about a day after Osama bin Laden was hit. You can't out wondering whether he was just doing a few rounds, eh? The next yeah. day. So, um, yeah, we don't have much to say, do we, about how this um, country <laughs> grows, eh? Yeah. It's just all about the kind of, you know, uh, machinery of business and... Uh, money, money, They're money. just multiplying everything. Yeah. They're just making more and more and more and more of everything. Yeah. And it's just making it worse and worse for us. Like if they kept the old ass roads gravel, sweet ass, you know? Yeah. Us Northlanders can drive them. Yeah, yeah, We can yeah. drive gravel roads. Yeah. Anyone else should be able to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but the thing is, when the roads are a bit more gravelly and a bit more bloody potholey, your cars aren't going as fast. You've got more chance of getting a ride as a hitcher, like I so said. I'll definitely <laughs> back your party. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, well, anything else you'd like to say to the country? Um, John Keys can kiss my ass. Okay. <laughs> I don't like him at all. <laughs> Helen Clark, come back. Yeah. Just do a little something. Just a little something. Get your head in the game. That's the one. And cool. just like, keep driving. Drive until there's no more road. Right. I love driving. It's the shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy it, but drive for sure. I enjoy the uh, scenery of this beautiful country. Yeah, it's awesome. Alright guys, thanks for your quarter at all. So Adela, you had a few things to say about um, some of your fauna down in Christchurch. Yeah, um, my auntie, um, she's a Māori warden and actually was down there for a couple of months and um, when she came back and told us, you know, what was going on and what, you know, TV and the, and, um, the press and that hadn't shown, you know, about people still being out in their houses, you know, with no food, no water. Well, they've moved into someone else's house because it's just so destroyed, you know. And they got, they were really, really angry, you know, sticks and um, getting quite crossed at the government because they weren't there. Just they hadn't seen anyone until, you know, the Māori wardens got the go-ahead to go down, take them food and that. 
and um, it was just a shock to, you know, saying, oh, that's not what they're showing on TV. They're saying that everything's fine and there's water all connected. And she goes, no, not in all the places. There's still no power, no food, you know. It's that bad that they're sick, you know, kids sick. And the government government hasn't been out to see that part of town, you know. John Key, well, John Key flies down in a helicopter, you know. He could have at least gone out there a couple of times with the Māori wardens to see the people, you know. But that's why when stuff happens for a lot of people and the government isn't there, and they turn, that's the only reason why, because the government doesn't have the balls to, you know, go out and see them how they are. Yeah, you know. They want to make it look like they're doing something, but that's as far as they want to go, eh? Yeah. They don't want to kind of stress themselves out by putting any kind of real money into it making it happen. It takes the Māori wardens and their rule, you know, in their prime, you know, where they should be settling down. And But no, they're out there helping those that need help, you know, and with the, uh, the air that they were breathing in, getting sick, but you know, my auntie still went back down, she got sick down there, she flew back up for a couple of weeks and was straight back down, you know, just determined to help those people that didn't have anything. Yeah, what an awesome person. It's yeah. great that you've got people like that around on the planet, eh? They're yeah. real models, real people to look up to, eh? You know? Yeah. Just um, imagine how well appreciated they'd be down there, eh? People would just yeah. love them, you know? They'd remember, they'd remember them for a long time. Yeah. And that's the difference between people like that, politicians.